Hi there, my name is Carlos Voda. I'm the director of the R Institute for Neurodynamics in Seattle. I'll give a brief intro to the Exospin project, which is a powerful system for image large tissue brain samples with high contrast and resolution. Now the Exospin is a project from the Allen Institute for Neurodynamics. Uh, the Institute is focused on understanding how the brain builds understanding of the complex world around us to guide behavior. We're interested in answers in terms of neural signals and defined neuron types interacting across the whole brain and body. We don't know how to do this yet, so we're developing next generation neural technologies and employ a team-based approach for discovery in neuroscience. We do open science. That means that knowledge, data, and tools will be widely shared to catalyze science elsewhere. Now, we recently posted a preprint describing the Exospin technology. You might want to have a look at it uh, for additional details. Exospin is a tool to map neural circuit across the entire brain using microscopy. And uh, Exospin is an example of the kind of open science that we want to do. Microscope, software, histological methods are all fully documented in public repositories. Exospin technologies can be cloned by you, reused by you, and improved upon by you. Now at its core, Exospin is a better method for imaging small things and large things at the same time without sectioning or tiling. For us, Exospin is a game-changing tool for brain-wide anatomy. For example, we use Exospin to image and reconstruct individual neurons across the entire brain. We feel that reconstructing neurons is important because this gives us critical information about the diversity of neuron types in the brain. Perhaps even more important, by tracing the output side of neurons, the axons, as shown right here, we can learn about where neurons send their signals. So reconstructing neurons tells us about how signals are routed in the brain by defined cell types. This is illustrated here for medulla neurons, which fall into six major categories uh, based on their outputs to specific targets. We think that exospin will be useful for many other biological questions. Hopefully this is where you come in by bringing your problem to exospin technology. Now, we've recorded seven short presentations that describe the Exospin components in some details. This includes the optics, the histological methods, which are also critical, image acquisition software, image data science, and image analysis. These videos also will introduce you to some of the amazing scientists and engineers who do this work. Now, a little bit more context. Now, imaging neurons on a brain-wide scale is difficult with many technical challenges. Neuronal axon arbors can span many centimeters as those neurons traced here in the sample volume. Yet, axons can be thinner than 100 nanometers, one thousandth of the width of a human hair. So to trace these thin wires across large brain volumes, we need nearly perfect high-resolution microscopy or very large sample volumes. Now, traditional microscopes with high resolutions, that is, those that can resolve tiny stru structures like axons, have small fields of view, so that they see only a tiny part of the specimen. This means that large samples traditionally have to be chopped into parts to be imaged, like a diced onion. So each piece of the onion has to be imaged separately, and then the images have to be assembled together computation to get a detailed image of the entire onion. Because the dicing distorts the pieces, the parts are difficult to put together, and many errors are introduced at the interfaces of the cuboids. And Exospin overcomes this challenge with two critical innovations. First, Led by Adam Glazer with Zhao uh, Yumi Jiang and others, the Exospin team designed and built a microscope that can see the small and the big at the same time. So the microscope can image cubic centimeter sized specimens, such as the entire mouse brain, without sectioning and tiling. These image volumes are two orders of magnitude larger than available with, with previous, previous microscopes. Moreover, Exospin 
images have fantastic resolution and contrast. I should say that this new microscope borrows technology from the electronics inspection industry and brings kind of new capabilities to biological, uh, biological imaging. Microscope is the focus of videos one and two. Now, normally, the brain is impenetrable to light because of scattering, which is the process by which light is bent in random directions, you know, in, in homogeneities in samples. So scattering is the same process that makes your skin or clouds impenetrable to light. So the second innovation led by Jaram Chandrasekhar with Naveen Olet and others is to develop histological methods, tissue preparation methods for making big specimens, including entire brains exquisitely clear by retaining the detailed shapes of neurons. It is the microscope and the histological methods together that gives us unprecedented images of the brain. So the histological methods are the focus of video two. Now, making exospin practical for routine imaging and discoveries in the laboratory required additional innovations. So imaging entire brains implies huge data sets, up to 100 terabyxels per brain. To image these uh, gigantic uh, image volume in finite time you need to acquire and need to acquire images in unprecedented speeds the software developed for this purpose dubbed acquire is critical for exospin acquire again the software for exospin was developed by adam glazer again joshua vasquez micah woodward together with leading contributions from nathan clark and others in the chan zuckerberg institute imaging group Acquire allows us to image whole brains 10 times faster than previous approaches. Acquire will be useful for control of microscopes in general. Now, a major challenge is how to deal with the huge image data after acquisition. Our scientific computing team, together with collaborators at Junior Research Campus, built an efficient pipeline to compress, move, and serve data for analysis all in the public cloud. The data science outlined by uh, Cameron Ashadi is the topic of video six. Finally, in video seven, Anna Grimm will outline ongoing work on how images of neurons can be analyzed using modern machine learning methods. We hope you find these videos useful. Thank you for listening.